What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to inspect skins in first person mode in the CS2 main menu. So you don't have to be in game to inspect your skins in first person mode. So what do I mean by this? Well, check it out. Look at my Negev right here, my Negev terrain. I'm going to right click on it, do inspect, and we'll see a variety of options here. And this is the one we actually want to check out. First person, first person inspect animation. So click this. And basically, you see it as if you're holding it in first person, and the guy's doing an inspect animation, and then you see him holding it like normal after. And then you can, uh, I don't think pressing your inspect key works, no. So if you just click it again, it'll show you the animation again, I believe. Maybe you have to click out of it, and then click into it. Yeah, click out of it, click into it. You get to see the inspect animation again. And it helps you check it out, you know, if you really want the skin. If you go back to inspect weapon model, you get the free 360 view of the skin to see if it has any wear. You know, I do like that they've added these little things to CS2 and CSGO as they've been upgrading it over the years. Because I personally like to have skins that have no wear. So, that helps you check it out. But let's say you don't have the skin in your inventory and you still want to see what it looks like. So... If I am on the community market here and I just want to look at a scan, let's just see what's, what we got here besides cases. Jeez. Okay, this Black Lotus. So let's go to one of these on the market. So I'm scrolling down here, by the way, seeing what's listed. I'm not going right to inspecting game here. Let's check out one of these listings. So let's see this. We can inspect the game. And now we can also check it out to see if you like it in like you know as you're playing so this is the play view and then this is the entire view and then you can also see it from other players perspective that's what your player looks like when you're holding it default ct agent i think you can change teams oh no <laughs> yeah you can but this is an m41s so you're never going to really be holding this as a t unless if you pick up an enemies for some reason but that doesn't count for inspecting the skin you know so that's kind of it, but you know, that's uh, one way of doing it. So another way, let's go to use some more scans. Let's see this AK Asimov field tested. If you just do inspect the game straight up from here, and that's another way that'll show you. Let me go back to the Steam market. What happens when you do inspecting game right here is it shows you the one at the top of the community market, the cheapest one. So keep in mind, these all have different float values. If you see this eye here so that means they have different wear so you'll be seeing the one at the top cheapest one may not be the worst wear but it may not be the best either it just depends on what it is so yeah also now i can just check this guy out as if i have it equipped and see if i like it see if i like it on my character again only t's have ak's so this makes sense again and i guess you could change the scenery See what it looks like on Dust 2. Like, you know what? I don't mind this feature. It's cool. Seems like they really want to push the skin game of this game. The skin market. Whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that is how you inspect a skin in first person mode. As if you were holding it in game in CS2 from the main menu. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.